Hello everyone, welcome to this monumental episode number 100 of my rapid chess series on chess.com. Hopefully I get the white pieces. I want to try the Jobava London. Um, so let's search for an opponent and see what we can get. I might check their profile as well, real quick. I do get the white pieces joined in 2014, so it looks perfect. Let's try the Jobava. Ah, oh, we cannot really, but let's try it anyway. Problem is he will play d6 instead of d5. Therefore, that's not going to work anymore. Okay, I could play e4, which I think is the best move. I like to play queen to d2. I think I'm going to play e4, use d6, and then lift my queen. We can even push. Wait. Push. Wait. Push. Takes. 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 He will have to move. And if we go here. Yeah, I think that's the trick. I think that's the trick. What do I do? He just simply my bishop. Maybe defend. Hopefully he takes, but I don't know what to do if he plays uh, knight to h5. Okay. We go for this line. Okay, knight anywhere. And I believe knight to d5 is good. <clears throat> he can take, but I'm not going to take back. I think I'm going to deliver a check and checkmate on the next move, if he allows me. So let's see. Um, developing the knight doesn't work. I'll chop that off. And what about castles? If castles, if castles, I can. Don't know what to do if he castles. I don't think it's good enough to get a rook for a knight that's stuck in the corner. Yeah, I don't know what to do if he castles. I'll be honest. Hmm. It's not clear. Maybe I can save the night. 
and my opponent I think is from Egypt yep hopefully he takes my bishop that's all I'm gonna say okay I think that's a decent move as well I think that's a decent move um I could maybe pin and if he castles I take take and I might have to give up the bishop um yeah, I think I'm just gonna check him because he has to move. That's the thing. And it's gonna be really, really difficult for him to develop afterwards. So I have to give up the bishop. Let's say check. Also, I want to play this, but he can just push the pawn. Therefore, I'm going to check him first. I don't know if this will be winning, to be honest. What about this move? Takes, push, check, takes. Probably I'm just going to have to take the rook. Take the rook. He will take. And then I will attack. Um, well, I can develop the other knight. <clears throat> or actually I can push let's have a look at this move push he can take I'm debating between pushing this bishop I'll have to give up and taking the rook take the rook take the bishop attack attack the knight then he takes this pawn so maybe I Maybe I throw in e6 first. e6, if he takes. It opens his rook. Not really a big fan of that. Look, he's going to take my bishop, and then I'm going to push, maybe. He's going to have to take, then I'm going to attack again. Okay, this pawn is completely lost. Although if I push, I'm going to lose my B pawn as well. Hmm. So I could start with um, G3 followed by F4. G3. 
can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. He has to, can't go there. He will go either here or there. And then I can protect and add more pressure. This is a good move, actually. If I can keep my central pawn, the knight in the corner might be gone forever, but at least if I can keep my central pawn, Maybe it's not too bad. Because now I can bring the other knight and my bishop. I have to be very careful with this um, kind of like a fork. It will be a double attack, so. Yeah, if he plays uh, b6 or b5, gonna have to fianchetto. Hmm. Not good. We're still up material, but the knight in the corner is um, almost lost. This knight as well is pinned, so maybe king to e8. <clears throat> All right, I think that's a good move. Can I? Night tempo the night. It won't do much. I can just take. Let's see, take. Probably he's gonna take with the bishop, of course. And it's not too bad. If I don't do anything, he's gonna he's gonna win a bunch of pawns. Take. Probably he's gonna take with the bishop, makes most sense. And I'll play c3, maybe. Still, the idea of fianchettoing is in the air. How do I develop my knight? That's another good question. He plays here, here, here. Wait, here, here, here. He cannot do that because of takes. Oh yeah, he cannot do that. So bishop to b5 still looks stronger. This knight cannot move because it's... Oh. 
Okay, where's the knight going? Not too sure. Not too sure. Um, I think I can still go for this idea. If he pushes, then I just take and save my knight. Yeah, I think I want to play this move. I think this move is crushing. I can attack, but then check and he takes my pawn. That's not good. Um, A6, I think, loses. Yeah, a6 I think loses because I can get to save my knight. <clears throat> what else can he do? So I've got two attackers. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. I'll have to take again. You know, or now is the chance to <clears throat> to attack. If he take, take, he takes, takes, take, check, move. Check or check move. Okay, if I take, he can only take with the bishop. But I can temple the bishop. But if I take, he can bring the rook. And then I bring the knight, and if takes, takes, check. It's not, it's not pretty, it's not pretty. I think takes and here. Is the best move. I'm gonna go for it. He does have the light squared bishop. Still. Bishops. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm expecting rook to e8, logical move. And I'll try to castle. Okay, that was unexpected. I can threaten another four. Or castle, but castling is not very safe. Now he has checks. I'll have to do it. <laughs> oh boy, what a position. It looks like a Fisher random position. Look at these bishops. They could be problematic. And the material is kind of equal unless I get to save my knight, which is a very difficult task. 
And he does have the. And I will lose my bishop soon. Would have lost here. But maybe I can still go here. If I go here and then check. That's not good. Rooks. I want to go here, but Here takes takes. Then he frees and he's freezing the he's freeing the knight. Oh boy, I don't know what to do. This doesn't really work. Or Okay, let's do it. Maybe it works. Maybe it works. Not sure though. <laughs> How ridiculous that knight looks. Okay, now I have this check. And he has to block. And I can take. I'm just winning a pawn. Could go here, here, take, takes, win a pawn. I'm gonna go for this. Me, because he's pinned. From my rook, the only legal move. But wait, I do have a check. So wait, I do have this check. He will just go here. It doesn't work. This check doesn't work. You have to just take. And cash in the free pawn. Okay, I have one, two attackers. Has one, two, three defenders. I'll cash in on the pawn first. His bishops look look very dangerous. I can maybe kick one defender and then take takes. Oh, I can kick the defender. Takes. And after takes, I have a fork. Oh no. Oh no, he's... Oh no, he's ruining my plans. Here, here. Oh no, he's ruining my plans. I 
back first. Three minutes on the clock. Wait, wait, I can check him now. Wait, I can check him right now. Because he cannot capture me because he's pinned. So after takes. Oh yeah, this is the way. This is the way. And then I will take. Because if you take, I take. And if you take, I take. I think I found the way. Ah. <laughs> I think I found the way. Okay. Um so now I simply take Right? I simply take. If you take, I take. So that's not good. But if you take, I take. Am I even going to be up material? Two minutes on the clock, anyways, no time to think. I can like check him and hope that he will fall into a fork, but that's a bit of a hope chess. So let's attack again, threaten another check. Light square bishop has two attackers. He does have oh. Oh, he pins me. Okay, that's interesting, but I think I have this move. This has to be a brilliant move, right? Because I take the pawn and protect. But that was a nice pin. I didn't even see that. And he's two moves away from getting to my rook. But the bishop is actually um, crap, so he has to take, but now I fork his two remaining pawns. And I'm just going to keep my rook on the sixth rank. I'm going to take one of the pawns and push my pawns and bring my king and keep the king on seven and eighth rank. So. This uh, Jabava London was a success today. I wasn't expecting. He might resign. I think I found some great, great, amazing moves. Let's do a game review. Real quick, that's it, 88.6%, finally a good game back on my, you know, good form. And the opponent was a bit lower rated, but we do get 15 plus again, 1500 plus, which is amazing. So we have 19 best moves, one great move, zero blunder, zero misses, one mistake for inaccuracies. We played like a 2150. <clears throat> and these are all book moves. And this is a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do in this case. I need to drop all the way back. And I'm losing a pawn. I think I would be okay with this. Because it's a gambit style play.
pretty interesting. So, um, it is a mistake, but you know, he misses, and this was the way, and this is a blunder. Um, most people play here, and after takes, takes, check, king here, it's a forced checkmate. I, I never gotten this variation on my games, but one day I will. So, great move, blunder, best move. This is the best move, best move, best move, best move, best move. And bishop c4. I think I mentioned this move. Yeah, but here I would have probably taken the knight. This is the best move. Ain't no way I would have taken that. And it could have continued. So, I actually found the best moves. Here, it's not the best. Knight to f3. Knight to f3 is the best move. Going for quick development, but I didn't like this. So I chose to protect my pawns, attack, and knight to h3, this time around going the other way. You said I play bishop to b5, is inaccuracy for some reason. Okay. Nothing major, nothing major though. Mistake, best move, best move, best move. Wow, that's the best move. And best move, best move, best move, best move. Rook to e1, rook to e1. Mm. Well, that would have been interesting. So, I just cash in with one pawn. And this is an accuracy because I find this amazing move. This should be a great or brilliant move. Takes, takes. Takes, takes, best move, best move. And this looked like a, a tremendously good move. It's just amazing. But I found this, uh, this should be a brilliant, not a brilliant, this should be a great move. Um, and pass move, he's forced to take, because if he doesn't do anything, I take him. If he moves here, I take him for free. So he's forced to take, basically. And whatever the king was going to do, or if he pushes a pawn, I just take. And I just keep keep the king basically stuck there. I don't even have to move my uh, my own king. Um, I can just keep the king stuck. Yeah, it's forced mate already. I could even go here, here. It's a stalemate. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can start pushing other pawns. So, it's very losing. Yeah, the last, this, this last move I was so proud to find. What a great combo. What a great combo. I hope you enjoyed the game. Finally, I get another decent game and I played well. And yeah, recently we had our longest losing streak of three games. Previously it was only two. 
So it's getting tougher and tougher. Three losing streak. Uh, but it's still not uh, as bad as before. When I was not doing this series, I had maybe even 10 uh, matches of uh, losing streak. So three is really not that bad. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Cha-cha.